I will give you a thumbs up. Can you see us? Yeah, I can see you. It's a very wide shot. Okay, just. Okay? You can just go first. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone! Is it we working? Are we live? George is on our tech. George, are we live? Uh, on it should be. It's just a circle of doom at the minute. Okay. Good start. Gotta love technology. Ah, there you go. Are we live? Yes, we are live. We are live! Are you sure, George? I'm sure. Okay. It says end live video and it says live in the top corner, so oh, I yeah, assume good. so. So, hello, everyone. Um, hopefully, there is someone there listening. I don't know if there is or not. Happy? Hello. Is there anyone there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, hello, we are here to do a kids kick along today. Ready? Ta -da! Um, George is on our tech for us, so if he you have any peak. questions, he is our geek, isn't he? So if you have any questions, you can um, type it, hopefully, um, and then George will be able to reply to you. Um, so we're going to be making ginger biscuits. We my, have my signature. Happy signature. Uh, we have never baked live before. We've never baked as a cook along before. Um, we are just a mum and son cooking in the kitchen. So it could be shambles. Um, it might be great. I don't know. Odd, yes. odd to say you have done a cook along before, but no past in that. Yeah, growing up cook alongs, haven't we? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Our salon. Um, right. First things first, you need to take your kettle, grown ups. Put some water in it and make yourself a cup of tea. So you can just chill for a bit, is the plan. Alfie is going to read through the ingredients with you now to make sure that you have got everything that you need. Apologies in advance, I forgot to put an egg on the list. So you can make it without the egg if you haven't got one. But if you have got an egg in the fridge or in the cupboard, I would grab one of those um, first of all. Alfie, Which come a bit cool. closer to the camera. Hello, camera. Hello, camera. And just read through the ingredients with everybody nice and slowly. Okay. A kid cook drink to call on ginger biscuits. 100 grams of salted butter. Well, we're not using salted, but if you don't have salted, you can grab salt and unsalted butter. Yes, you there you go. Salt, you say butter. Yep. Three tablespoons of golden syrup. 100 grams of dark muscovado, muscov muscovado sugar. One tablespoon of ground ginger. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon, which we have three tins of. Um, 225 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of icing sugar, two two limes, and an, and one egg if optional. Yes, if you've got an egg, use an egg. Should we read uh, that again? You can go through it again very slowly with everybody. Just in case. Sure got everything. 100 grams of salted butter or unsalted and a pinch of salt. Three tablespoons of golden syrup. 100 grams of dark muscovado sugar. One tablespoon of ground of ground of ground ginger. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon, 225 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of icing sugar, two limes, and one egg if op optional. Optional. Cool. Good. Right. Uh, so hopefully we have got, um, you're there and you can see stuff. I've got my watch, so if you can't let me know. Um, George, why are you taking that from me? So that I can put the ingredients in the chat for the people who missed it. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'll have it back. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. first of all, we're going to get on with the baking. So, we're going to make the dough. So, the dough is going to not take us very long. The dough will then need to chill for a little bit. If you put the um, mixture in the oven too hot, what happens to your biscuits, Alfie? They burn. They go soggy. <laughs> they go soggy. <laughs> they go burn. Um, so, we'll chill them down for a little bit. Uh, we're making more of like a ginger cookie rather than a ginger biscuit. Um, so it just snap. the time. No, it's not going to have to snap. But when we make your gingerbread, they don't normally do that. Yeah, no. Because we use the hot And they're butter. nice anyway. They're delicious. So we are going to start cooking in a moment. Um, we need to put the oven on, first of mm -hmm. all. So you need to preheat your oven to about 180 degrees. So, Alfie, can you remember how to do that? Uh, oh, oh, I'm dumb. Sorry, guys. So you need to preheat your oven, or if you're a little person, get your big person to preheat your oven for you. You've got this yeah. going on. Okay. Right, so you've got to preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Ta-da! We haven't measured out our ingredients. We're doing that as we go along. We're not um, doing the hints like right prepared earlier. We are not doing that, are we? No. no. Uh, we're going to measure as we go along, and then um, so that it gives you enough time to kind of get yourself sorted. If you've and got an apron, Wear it. Put your apron on. Um, and Alfie, what 
is the first thing we have to do. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. And so, just in case, get a bowl of soapy water. Why do Why do we have a bowl of soapy water when we cook? Because I usually lick my fingers. Because he flicks his fingers. So uh, saves on time later of going, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Yeah. We just have a bowl of hot soapy water. So run yourself a nice bowl of hot soapy water. And I'll leave doubles up for sorting the dishes out. And I will entertain you while she's doing that. I have a joke. Oh, make sure it's rude, not rude. It's not rude. Okay. Not like my other ones. Oh, um, no. Okay. What do you do when a clock turns? What time is it when a clock turns 13? Time to get a new clock. Ah, oh, oh. boom, amazing, Alfie. Plenty of those to keep us going. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. True prep. Still got my lunch dishes. Lunch dishes in the sink. It's good to isn't it? Right, Alf, wash your hands, please. Yes, ma'am. Oh. We have not prepared this. Ah, um, payback! We haven't worked out what we're doing, we just make it up as we go along. So. Okay, payback. Concerning. George, no. Nice. Oh, some cheap soup, thank you. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Right, okay, so Alfie, what's the first thing we need? So we need a saucepan. Um, and in here, we're going to put our butter, our sugar, and our golden syrup, aren't we, mm, Alfie? Yeah. And we're going to melt it down. So yeah. um, you can also do this in the microwave. So if it's safer, if you would prefer to do it in a glass dish, you can put your butter in a glass dish and put it in the microwave. We like to do it on the hob, uh, just because it helps the sugar dissolve quicker. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah. Alfie, first of all, we need 100 grams of butter. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Are you going to measure it? Yeah, otherwise how are you going to know how much you need? So we cheat because I like to save on dishes. Oh, it's 1,357. So I put the saucepan on the scales rather than using the bowl, and then I don't have to use some of the dishes. Genius. Right. You get that bit then. Life tip, parents, life tip. Absolutely. So 100 grams of butter out. Do we use this to cut it? You can use a knife, Brian. kids if you're too if you're too crazy like me get a parent to help you because knives are sharp don't yeah. do that as you're running around the kitchen yeah i am not strong i am the opposite uh, ching hello butter nice too Let's just turn off a little block. So make sure you have 100 grams of butter in your saucepan and melt it down. Mm -hmm. Or microwave, your choice. I'm ripping apart this paper. 92. 97 degrees, okay. 97? 98. Wow, Alfie, you're being very specific. You don't have to be quite so specific with your measurements. Alfie, that'd be fine, mate. I'm making sure it's perfect. There we go. 100 degrees exact. 100 degrees, not 100 degrees, baby. It's 100 grams. Oh, I'm done. Sorry, girl. But, Mum, it says milliliters in the top. 100 grams. Yeah, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Um, okay, so next we're going to be putting in our golden syrup. So you can have, yeah. we might have a, a tin of golden syrup, we might have a jar of golden syrup. But that doesn't um, matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You can use treacle if you want to use treacle instead of golden syrup. Are we using, what are we doing? Just Where just are you? on the video on a different account and spit me, be louder. We need to be louder. Right. Okay. No, we're not going to shout. It's Hello. Okay, right, so Alfie, one, how much golden syrup? Three tablespoons of golden syrup. It looks like there's nothing in there. Yeah, it's, this is our dark one, that's fine. Okay. So three tablespoons, baby. Three, three of those. TBS. Mm. Okay, into the bowl. It's sticky. Let's put it closer. Will it come out on my tonight? So in here, hold on, sweetheart. Use the two spoon tactic. Two spoon tactic. If it's too sticky, you grab your, you grab another spoon okay. and okay. scoop it off. And that's what we always do. Okay, one. So your golden syrup might be lighter than ours. Uh, um, ours oh is more no. like a treacle golden syrup. And it's um, very sticky. But you can use the lighter one as well. It just gives it a, a slightly richer flavour, but uh, mainly because we didn't have any of the other golden syrup. 
Yeah. <laughs> right, and a third one. Here you are. Two spoons, baby. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie. Whoopsie dupsie. We are not professionals. Grown-ups, have you got your cup of tea? Remember, we are not professionals. We are not professionals, no. Um, I don't know what game is that in for Chanel. Nothing good. She's on. Now that goes straight into the sink. Ooh, okay. Cool. Oh my! No, right. What's happened with the scales? It's just because it's come off. It. It's because it's on the floor. Uh, Hello to the nine people on this call. Are there nine people there, George? There's nine viewers. Is there? Hello, nine viewers. We are victorious. We haven't got zero. We haven't got There's zero. There's now eight viewers. Right? Who left? <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Hello, eight viewers. Who's left? Hundred grams of sugar, Alfie. Um, 100 grams. So 100 grams of brown sugar into your saucepan as well. Oh, that's OZ. Unit. Unit. On zero. Okay, here you go. 100 grams, grams of, grams dark of sugar, sugar into your saucepan. It can be dark brown sugar or dark muscovado, your choice. So yeah, you could use a golden cast of sugar if you wanted to, but again, the brown and the darker the sugar, the trip, like the stickier your golden syrup is going to be. I am making sure this is perfect. How do you never know me this specific? Well, I am now. Right, well then. Right, so then that goes on to sort of a low heat um, and so, melt that down. Yeah. Sort of mid flame, I would say. Um, again, if you want to pop it in the microwave, take it out and give it a stir. Put it in the microwave, stir it. Uh, Poppy Dog is here trying to climb. Climb on me, that's one thing for sure. Down you go, Stan. Right, okay, so that should be slowly starting to melt. So that butter's going to melt nicely, and then you just give it a the spoon. This is our spoon. That's our spoon, and we're going to give it He's a He's called Jeremy. Stir. Okay, whilst that is slowly melting, actually, we'll wait the cars. I hopefully, I think Jesse is watching. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Hi, Jessie, on camera, sorry. Um, oh and if she is, I know that her hob is nowhere near probably the side in which she has to do her scales. So we will melt the butter and just do that as we're going. Mm -hmm. yeah. It makes a really sticky mess, which is lovely. If hi, everyone hands... else, by the way. Hi, everyone else. Yes. If your hands are sticky, you can give them a wash. Lovely. So in a minute, we're going to measure out our dry ingredients and into our bowl. And then <laughs> George keeps going. Point to the camera. Yeah. Sorry. Which camera's on me? You're talking to me. I'm talking to you. Um, so professional, aren't we, Alfie? No. <laughs> um, so in a minute, we're going to measure out the dry ingredients into our bowl, and then we're going to put the hot mix into the it's dry ingredients. It's already melted. Mix them together. And then we're going to have to chill them in the fridge for a little bit. Yeah. Once we are chilling our um, mixture in the fridge, mm -hmm. we're going to make our lime icing. And then we're gonna roll our cookie shakes out, pop them in the oven. You can do um, whatever shape you want. Any shape you want. If you have cookie cutters. Luckily for us, we have an empty box. We've yeah. got cookie cutters and star cutters. Yeah. Um, if you don't have cutters, we'll come on to that later. We're just finding cutters. And we have this thing. Which is what? I don't know. Brilliant. That is a treble like, clef. Oh, it looks like a glue. It looks like a glue. Oh, treble clef. Treble clef. A treble clef. No know. one knows what this right, is. You should be staying in mixed in. <laughs> yeah, no good point. The um, higher part of music. So, yeah. Oh. When the biscuits are cooking, we thought we'd read a story. Didn't yeah. we, Yeah. Yeah. And um, tell some more jokes. Or we could tell some more jokes. No. We probably won't get through our whole story. Um, no, we'll read it next time if we do it next if time. If we do another one, we can finish it off next time. Yeah. Or you can finish it with your grown ups at a later time. It will be a mystery what we do. Oh, Mum, we haven't put a pinch of salt because we've done unsalted butter. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. yeah, for sure. So we use unsalted butter. Today. So we're going to put a pinch of salt in. Oh. So to clarify, you've melted your butter in there. Yeah. yeah. You've melted your. Sugar in there and yep. our golden syrup. Sugar. Thank you, George. And golden syrup. And this is and we all and um, we need one hundred grams of it. Three hundred tablespoons. No, three hundred <laughs> tablespoons. <laughs> <That's on the laughs> three, ta one. three tablespoons. One hundred and one hundred grams of dark muscovado sugar. Mm. And you should be staring it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
It's going gold. Gwen, so have you got your cup of tea and your chocolate? Mm. I haven't got chocolate. Oh, do we? No, we don't. It's not that sort no, of thing. We don't. As, um, <laughs> as Joe Wicks says quite often, this is live and uncut, so anything could happen, like my dog currently eating the plant. Stanley! Stanley! <laughs> no, thank you. Come Plant's down. All done. It's all right. Alfie, wash your hands now you touch the door. This is why we have a bottle of water. Handy, at all times. <laughs> okay, right, so once your mixture is melted, Alfie? Yeah? Does that look melted to you? Yeah, show you. Yeah. Show you cameras. Nice melted mixture there. Like, can you see that? But if, but if not, we'll give oh, you more time no. with another joke. Okay, that's okay. Right now, we're just going to pop that on a really, really, really low heat so it doesn't to, like on a low simmer. Or you can take it off the heat if you wanted to. Oh, as we we'll literally next to it, it makes sense. Right, Alf. Now we're going to measure out our dry ingredients. Yeah. So we need in there our plain flour. Yeah. We don't want to use self-raising flour, so we're using plain flour. But we don't want the biscuits to rise. We don't want them to we rise. We don't want them to be a cake. Hello, Abby from up north. Hello, Abby from up north. Um. So. Right. So uh, we need there's plain flour. Two hundred and twenty-five grams of plain flour. That's quite a lot, but who cares? Two hundred twenty-five grams. Look at this dude. I don't know. I think Stanley's eating the pen. That's not good. That's not acidic. Good <laughs> um, right, so we're measuring out 225. Issue. Alfie, what numbers are they? 225. Yes, what would it look like if we wrote it down? 225. Yeah, a two, a two, and a five. So, two, um, a, 225. This, is, this grams. is why you don't need to do any learning. Two, two. We are very. Five. Very, don't know what no. 224. Mm. 225 grams, perfect. Okay, Alfie, right, next. 27. Okay, cool. 24! That's fine, Alfie. Right, it's, it's just flipping. It doesn't matter. Right, okay, so next we're going to put in our ginger. So, uh, ground ginger. We need like one tablespoon. No, 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 no. We need one tablespoon. One tablespoon. Now, how big is the tablespoon? The big one or the small one? The big one. The big one. The teaspoon is one that you have in the key. So, we've got little spoons, so you could use a proper measuring spoon or you could use just a regular um, dessert spoon if you mm. wanted to. Hold it over the bowl so when it spills, it goes into the mixture. When it spills, what are you talking about? Okay, like I that. know it's Phil. You're talking about that, okay. We're never, we're never exact, are we, Alfie? No, no. one teaspoon cinnamon. One long. teaspoon of cinnamon. Here we go. Hold it over the bowl, please. It's gentle with that one. Gently, gently. Lovely. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamony. Lovely, isn't it? Cinnamony. Very nice. Right, oh, so no, we have put in there, Alfie. Our plain flour, our ground cinnamon, our ground sugar, uh, ginger. We in our pan. We've got our muscovada sugar, our Ooh, gold it's syrup, and our butter. Oh, bubbling around the edges, bubbly. Okay. Right, Al, can you just give it a mix now? Give what a mix? Oh, give that. Mix, okay. Yeah. We need another one. Another. Okay. One. Right. So now we're gonna take that off the scales, and we're gonna just give that a nice mix. Get oh, all those oh, spices. Slow down. Slow down. Is someone asking me to slow down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we are not our voices. Okay. Um. So what we've done is we. The instructions are in the chat. Okay. The instructions so, are in the chat. We'll slow down. That's fine. So in our saucepan, we've melted our butter, our sugar, and our golden syrup. Mm. Okay. What then, else have we done? I don't know, Alfie. What have we put in this bowl? I don't know, Mum. What have you done in this bowl? What have we put in this bowl? We put 225 grams of plain flour, yes. one tablespoon of ginger, yes. and one teaspoon of cinnamon. <laughs> yes. Oh, flour. Wrong. Testing my knowledge? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we can stay down. We're done. Yeah. We'll let everyone catch up, shall we? Yeah. Or oh, we need to get a sandwich bag out. And we can let the children have a rest because the children are doing all the work. The children, I hope the children are doing all the work. That's kind of the point, Alfie, isn't it? Yeah, for the grown-ups to sit in a blind folding chair thing. Well, well, mom's, well mum's not resting. But to be fair, do you not think the grown-ups deserve a bit of a break? Alfie? Yeah. I think so. Well done, grown-ups. I think the grown-ups are doing an amazing job. I think our teachers are doing an amazing job. Yeah, and nature. 
Okay, this is going wrong. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so sh should we? No, we're not wiping the icing yet, are we? I have a very, I have a really relevant idea. Why don't we stand outside our houses and clap them oh. every Thursday night? Shush, George. Don't use your input. Thank you. Back on your keys. We have lines. We have lines, by the way. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to my hole. H hopefully, your parents haven't used all of the Right. Alcohol. Hopefully, you're all sort of catching up now. Hopefully, your parents haven't used the lines for alcohol. <coughs> Dad. Dad. Yeah, the lines for Corona. I was a bit worried that the lines would have all been gone, but we did. Lines for Corona. Huh? Lines for Corona? Absolutely. Problem we have is that you never quite know what the children are going to say when you do these sort of things. Do you? No. no. Right. Um, I didn't put it on the list. Apologies. I missed it off the list. Um, if you have got an egg, then we will put the egg into the but dry you, ingredients. But if you don't, that's fine because we've, we've only done it once with egg. Yeah. Them. We've done it with egg before and we've done it without egg before. Yeah. Different and they both turned things. out exactly the same mm. just slightly crumblier isn't it without the egg yeah yeah which is which is all by means is good yeah, which is fine isn't it it's yeah. just it's slightly crumblier crumblier right. i mean which light which is nice so. <laughs> okay. right okay so hopefully we're all caught up so we should have our wet mixture in our saucepan our dry mixture with our flour and our cinnamon and our ginger and it should smell amazing does it smell amazing yeah it smells mm. cinnamony and gingery and it's funny that flowery. yeah you muff it right <sighs> So next we're going to crack our egg. So if you um, remember we're showing people how to do it nicely. Oh. Um, Sorry. So we're going to move that saucepan out of the way. So we crack the egg on the side of the dish. I am a very well-known crack legger in my egging society. Brilliant. So um, drop the egg. Crack the egg. Don't crack the egg directly into your pan. Crack it into a separate dish. Because then when you get eggshell in it, you can pick it all the eggshell. Oh, and there's eggshell in there, surprisingly. This so, is why we're not professional cooks. So with the eggshell, you can get the eggshell out. Mm. Make sure that you've got it all. That's, oh, yeah. Uh, professional egg cracking, you aren't uh, you, Alfie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now we wash our hands. Wash your hands with all the egg. Bubbles. No, thank you. No. no. Okay, so you should have your cracked egg in a dish, and what we're going to do is we're going to pop that egg into our dry Are mixture. We? Okay. What are you pointing at me for, George? Yeah, I do. Just a lot. <laughs> right. A lot of But again, if you haven't got an egg, don't worry. Uh, children, this is my fault. This is not the grown ups' fault if they haven't got an egg. Please don't blame your grown ups if you haven't got an egg. That's my fault for not putting it on the Don't fault blame, blame, blame them. Don't talk to them even more than blame, you blame do. This grown -up. Don't talk to them even more than you do. Right, stir in your egg. Should we really be doing this once we've got this in? No, it's fine. Okay. So we're stirring in our egg now. Yep. Making it eggy. <gasps> Okay, and then what we're going to do, thank you, that's enough. We're going to um, pour in our hot mixture. Now, this is for the grown ups to do, um, unless you're a big child. I'm a um, big child. You are a big child. I'm um, little children, if the grown ups pour it in and then the um, little children can mix it. We've got two spoons. We're going to show the little children how to do it now. So yeah. I'm going to pour it in and you can stir it. Okay. So, let's do that away. Um, so we're going to slowly pour it in, leave mind your hands. So, into the middle of the mixture, grown ups or big children, whatever. Pour in your sticky syrupy yeah. mix. Mess. Which has, looks like that. Sticky syrupy mess. That's one thing. Okay. Before. And then we're going to scrape that out like so. I love how you're doing most of the work here, and it's supposed to be children. I know, but this is the hot sticky bit, and what we're doing is we're showing the smaller children how That's to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy that we've got all the mix out there? Hmm. Yeah. So then the parents, when they're old, when the children are older, they don't have to do everything. Okay. Mixy, mixy, mix, 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 mix. So it smells amazing now. Yeah, very good. It smells syrupy and flowery. It does, doesn't it? So stir all that flour in. It's going to be quite a sticky mixture. I think Alfie might have gone a bit over the top on the... Uh, Sticky syrup, yeah, that's okay. Um, ours is probably a little bit too sticky, so we're just going to show them. 
So ours looks like this. We are not a professional. This is probably a bit too sticky. And if it's too sticky, just so it's going to be sticky. But if I try and roll that out now, it's not even coming into a slight dough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more flour to our mixture. Uh, As I said, we're not professional. And a this little is how bit you more flour. Healthy, not too much, mate. Um, this is what happens when you bake. It's um. You want it to just be coming, yes, that tiny little bit of flour there, we're going to put a little bit more in. Okay, can I show it to them? Yeah, a bit more in, it's, uh, and it happens, these things happen, you just make it up as you go along. Um, so if you show them now, Alfie, when we're mixing it, it's now coming away from the bowl, so it's not sticking to the edges of the bowl, it's coming away from the edges of the and bowl. It, and if you can see, it's more of a doughy consistency. Yeah. Now I'm going to go wash my hair. Okay, so it's coming away from the edge of the bowl now. Look. And what will happen is when that butter cools down, it will go even more solid um, because obviously we want the shapes to be to be coming away there. I'm going to put maybe just a little bit more in. Once it's cooled, if we need to add more flour, then we can add more flour. Yeah. Um, and that's absolutely fine. I should put a little bit more in now. There we go, look, it's more of a more of a sticky dough now. Okay. This looks like a bird. How is everyone else's? Does everyone else's go a bit sticky or? And if it does add flour, that's the every solution. Just add some more flour. Absolutely fine. Not a problem at all. I mean no one spoke, no one's put anything in the chat for five minutes, so I'm assuming it's fine. Okay. So this is where our sandwich bag comes in. So you can sandwich if we have more time. Then we could put this straight into the fridge um, and it would cool down at a reasonable rate. But as we are, um, obviously, you don't want to sit and listen to me, you have her on for too long. What we're going to do is we're going to put our mixture into a sandwich bag. Right, if I hold it, you scoop it in now. Oh, hello, doll. So we're putting that into our sandwich bag. Yeah. Okay, now it's the thumb bit. Now this is gonna still be quite warm because it obviously, because it had the melted butter and stuff rolling. in it. No, we're just gonna squish no. it. Well then, give it a good squish. Oh, I want a rolling pin to smack it. It's not, it's not cheesecake, sadly. So what we're gonna do, the thinner we have that out, the quicker that's gonna cool down in our fridge. And the reason we have to cook, cool our mixture down, oh, it feels amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like slime. Yes. What's that? ASMR. ASMR. Nice feeling slash sounding stuff. Oh, Pet yes, that's very nice. So um, the reason we're putting it in a sandwich bag um, is that we can squish it nice and thin like this, and that's going to cool down really quickly in our yeah. fridge. And then um, when you take it out, you barely have to roll it anymore. Exactly. Oh no, what? Rosie, what happened? What is it? What's Rosie put? All good. We had an incident. Oh no, sure. uh, Rosie, I hope you're okay. Okay. Just allow you to catch up. Where did we get to? So hopefully you have put your wet mixture, your butter and your golden syrup and your sugar should have gone into your dry mixture. And then if it's too um, slimy or too wet, you can put some flour in it. And what we're going to do now is this is in our sandwich bag and we've squished it out with our fingers. Still smells good. Still smells, smells good. Plastic. And then that is going to go into our fridge to cool down. Because if I try to... Um, Roll this out now, it's not going to work. Don't worry, Our, um, I think this is recyclable. It'll be a slightly darker mixture to yours because we use like a treacly golden syrup as opposed to the golden syrup. Yeah. Um, so that's that's probably why ours was a bit sticky. Might be, but that's why ours is a bit sticky. So ours might not actually work, Alfie. Let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> that's a good start, isn't it? Right, so that's going to go into our fridge. Okay, I'll do that for well, you. Well, if ours doesn't work, I don't think that's will do. That should work. Um, and now you need to get some limes. Here's what I prepared earlier. Not yet. We're just going to put that in our uh, So is anything happening in the chat? No. Okay, I'll put the, the dishing up time. Yeah, so pop your dishes in the sink so they're out of the way. Nice on the side, not in the sink, Alfie. Right, okay, so Alfie's now going to show us a juggling trick with the limes. Oh no. Still here. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. 
Are we done? Hopefully everyone's, um, thank you, that's enough. Hopefully everyone's golden syrup is now, um, golden syrup. Syrup. everyone's wishes now in the fridge. Put in the chat if you want us to should. slow down or pause, Any, just so that, yeah. you know, we I don't want anybody so. going too far back. Okay. I'm not Can knowing what to do. I've got my knife out ready. Oh, yeah. So, 30 okay. minutes. Hopefully everyone has caught up with us, oh. everyone's there. Half an hour. Now, we're gonna um, juice our limes whilst our biscuits are chilling down. Um, we've got two limes. What we're going to do is we're going to add the lime and the icing sugar as we kind of go along. So I haven't put, I've put 50 grams of icing sugar, which we'll measure out, and then we'll use as much lime juice as we need to get the consistency that we want it. Um, it's really hard to see because everyone gets that different amounts of lime juice out, so whether you'll need one, one and a half, two, I don't know. So we'll measure out our icing sugar, um, and then we'll put the lime juice in as we go along, and then we can just keep adding to it as we need to. Yeah. If you haven't got limes, or you don't like limes, that's a face from George, um, or you don't like limes, not a problem, you don't have to use limes, you can just use water, and use water and um, icing to make icing for your ginger biscuits, but we think the limes add a bit of extra flavour, don't they, to, yeah. the, to the icing sugar. Yeah. George, have you got an update from Rosie? I have got an update from Rosie. Uh, uh, what did Rosie say? Jessie wanted to smell the dry mix, but got a bit close and sniffed it up her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Although she was almost crying as it hurt, was frantically trying to find a tissue for her to blow her nose. Oh, bless her. Jessie, yeah. I hope you're okay. You've wiped your nose on your hands. Go and wash them. <laughs> Thank you. Impressed. This, is, this is why we have it. Okay, so with your limes, we're going to juice our limes. Yeah, so the good thing about the limes, when you squish them, you get more juice out of them. So give them a really good squish. How can you do that one? I'll do this one. So give them a really good squish with your fingers or put them on the side. And give or them get a, a rolling pit. No. No rolling pit. Um, and give them a roll like this, and what we're doing is we're breaking all that juice up and we're going to get as much juice out of this lime as we possibly can. And this is so, where we need the older and or parents. How's yours? Is yours as squishy as mine? Mine less squishy. Uh, less squishy, keep going then. What are you doing with that camera? Bring it closer Bring to it you can see what it is. So I'm putting my thumbs in like this. When I'm mashing it with You're my... You're mashing yours with your fist. This is what no working out gets you guys. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so now when we cut our lime um, in half, it's gonna be much juicier. So fingers out of the way, remember how I taught you? Keep those fingers out of the way. Um, little children, you might need your grown up to slice your lime for you. We have, we have ruined the grown up's piece. Oh, I've cut this well. <laughs> I've cut this so well. Oh dear, right, I'll have that one then. I'll that one. Yeah. Remember, Calling so to all you OCD of members of this family. Fingers in. And then across. Yeah? Okay. This is right. definitely my lime. I don't know why I did There's that. There's two ways in which you can juice your lime. You can use a lime juicer, like this one, yeah. um, to catch the juice, which Alfie, you're going to do. Yeah. And then Mum's just going to squeeze it because okay. you're going to <clears throat> Enjoy it. Thanks. If you squeeze your lime, you're not going to get a lot of juice out of it if you just squeeze it. Um, you won't get enough. So you can use the juicer, like Alfie's doing, to get the juice out. The other way you can do it, if you don't have a juicer, don't worry. You're going to be good for a minute, Alfie. If you take your lime and a fork, put your fork into your lime like that, and then you twist your fork. And what happens is the, the water, the juice, will come out of the lime. So you can squeeze it with one hand and then twist it with the other hand, and you find you get a load more juice out than if you just squeeze it with your hand. So what that does, it breaks up all those juices into our bowl. So I've got my half, how are you doing with yours, Al? I've already done one of mine, or one of my halves. Ah. This is what happens when you have give it a good parents, squeeze. Against, parents against actual things made by humans. Yeah, the worst thing is when you have a cut on your fingers and you squeeze a line. Oh, that hurts. That's that like the same, exactly the same as vinegar. Yeah, very much so. So I'm going to rinse my hands off now. Because I was covered in lime. Lime! I'm pretty sure I've done a good job. Yeah, that's a great job. Okay, no, benefits for these ones is you can catch the seeds. Obviously, if you're doing it with a fork, you've got to just check that you haven't got any seeds in there. Um, and then it's got a spout, baby. Oh, um, We've got no seeds, so we're just going to pour our lime juice in. Blue. Now we're quite quick at juicing limes, so um, we we're will, just gonna. We will wait, wait for all of you. For you guys. 
By telling um, some jokes. Oh god. Do you know any jokes about kitchens, Abby? Or cooking? Uh, I can find one. No. Okay, in, my, in, my, in my mind. Find one in your mind then, Abby. Quicker than that, mate, we haven't got all day. George, do you have any jokes? Oh, I have one. What's a spoon fit? What's a spoon's favourite video? Spoon time. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I don't What's think the we Spoon's even... favourite video? <laughs> spoon time. I can't even categorise that as a joke. I mean, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay. Um, Click, can we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's, oh, yeah, what, what's the lime? What's the difference between a lime and a lemon? I don't know. They're different colour. <laughs> A friend of mine used to install kitchen work surfaces, but he was arrested for counterfeiting. <laughs> Can we move on from the jokes? I think my spoon... Should we move on from the jokes? My spoon so. was better. Alfie, I think we should focus on the cooking, less on the jokes. Oh. Because, um... Oh, yeah. I have one! Pardon? I have one. Come on, one more. Okay, one more. Um, why is six scared of seven? Why is six scared of seven? I don't know. Why is six scared because of seven? Because seven ain't nine! Because seven eight nine six. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Lemons. So um, we are gonna measure out now that we've got our lovely lime juice. Some we're icing. going to measure out some icing sugar. So fifty grams of icing sugar into our bowl Fifty. 50. Okay, you can use a spoon if you prefer. Careful as you go. Fifty two! That'll do. So make sure you, this is how to make a sweet smoke bomb. So this is going to make a little bit of icing. If you want to make more icing, you can make more. It's entirely up to you. And then very, very slowly, we're going to add in our, oh. um, our lime juice. So use a little oh. spoon and we're going to pour in Le lime juice. Um, a little bit of lime juice. Careful, please. Tiny, just a few drops at a time because icing all of a sudden will go really, really runny and we don't want it too runny. Icing is probably one of my favourite things and the easiest things to make. Mm. I used to always mm -hmm. make them when I make the cakes. Yeah. And you used to always make them when you make rainbow cakes. Yeah, absolutely. So just a little bit at a time to make your nice icing. And if you can see that the lime juice is slowly thickening. If you want to make it. more, you can make more. If you just want to do a little bit of decoration on it, you can do just a little bit. I'm going to repeat that for the third time. Sorry. No, I'm going to do it twice. Thank you. Okay. How are we doing? I'm just scraping all so of it. So a tiny bit at a time to make, make it. Now that's made your icing up. But I think we should make it a bit thinner because it will pipe better. Or mm, drizzle better. I don't make it thinner if it's going to pipe. You can either pipe it or dribble it. So or biscuits is your choice. Depending on how big your biscuits are or how much icing you want to do. So the consistency we've got is about this, like a nice dropping consistency. Uh, and it which smells is, limey. It does smell amazing, doesn't it? it so limey. again, you can use... You can use your ice and sugar like that. You can make more, you can make less. You can use, if you wanted to change the colour of it, you could put a bit of food dye in it and use the food <gasps> dye in it. That? No, we'll use Aww. the normal for now. But it's white and boring. Well, you want to get some food dye? Yeah. The gels are in the cupboard. Cupboard? Um, Entertainment. Entertainment whilst you're gone. What, with a, with a clever joke like you've just done? Oh dear. Yeah. Not, not, like she's just, not like you've just done. Uh, I'm going to make a bit more icing. I've got loads of icing sugar, so I'm going to put a little bit more in. Um, just because I like it. It's my favourite. Um, so, yeah, so you want to make up your icing. I've put too much juice. If you put too much lime juice in and you, you think it's going to be a bit runny to pipe, just stick a bit more icing sugar in. Alfie's probably tracking, trashing my cupboard now. How are you doing, Alfie? What colour do you want, Bob? It's your baking, babe. What colour do you want? Yay, I'll go with blue. I'm going to have blue icing. Okay. So again, you want to be mixing your ice and sugar to it's a nice consistency. Nice, thick, dripping consistency like that. We've got very posh food, guys. Uh, uh, Jesse, don't try and sniff this. You yeah, don't sniff the ice and sugar. Good oh, chow. Would not. Wait, wait, wait. It's new sweetie. That's oh. fine. I'm done. You can just stop saying that, mate. Okay. Thank you. Um, so let's. 
And a little bit. A little tiny bit. This gel is really strong. Right, see how you get on. Mum, we don't need someone to clean the bowl. Actually, because we've already got someone cleaning the bowl. So we use um, Colour Splash uh, food we're not, gel. We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. Um, which we find is the strongest um food concentrate gel that you can get it's better than the watery one voila use a tiny tiny bit and it's got that gorgeous color um it's like other food gels are available aren't they i think but we use these ones where's yeah. the lid gone we have a we chop the lid off um so oh, yeah, here's what yeah. my blue icing looks so we've gone for blue icing. it's nice royal blue okay my That's favorite color by the way so now That's our icing so is done no. That's cyan. I don't like the cyan. This is my favourite blue. It's like, nice, it's like a nice turquoise colour. Yeah. Um, we don't it's we are arguing the... about the colour of blue. Typical lockdown cooking is this. The children arguing with each other. Mum's um, um, gone through a lot. Okay. I like to tidy up as I go along. You'll probably find. Okay. So whilst you're doing that, either if you're still cooking your ice cream, then that's absolutely fine. We're just going to line our baking tray now with some greaseproof paper. So I um, treat you with some ASMR. So we've just got a grease of paper and we're going to lay that onto our baking tray. Mum, do we need the spoon anymore? You're not licking the spoon. I know, I'm licking We the... will need the spoon. Oh! Because we need to dish it into our paper bag. What are we going to do with the rest of the lime juice? Did I put on pancakes in the morning? Drink it! No. If you want to drink it, you can drink it. It's very nicer. A little drop. Guess what? You should wash your fingers. One thing, one thing, one thing. Okay, so, so uh, line your baking tray with some greaseproof paper. And depending on um, and the size of your cookies, then you might need to do two. And depending and depending on which paper you have, stick it down with butter if you need to. Mm -hmm. So we're going to um, roll check in. our cooled uh, mixture. We're going to throw baby bells all over the floor. What are you doing? I'm showing off my sword skills with a wobbling pen. I'd rather you didn't. Oh. Uh, I'm going to smash it in the air. Classic kid. Just throwing uh, baby bells all over the floor. Um, right, so we've got a nice cold mixture now. There is still some warm patches in it. It doesn't matter. If you had more time, what you could do is you could leave the mixture to cool for longer. Um, the colder the mixture is, then the crispier or snappier that your biscuits are. But we like it bendy. We like more cookie-like, don't we? Yeah. So we never worry too much if the mixture's still a little bit warm. Do you know, Alfie, it was two years ago today that you made your Taj Mahal out of gingerbread. So for Alfie's e you know? Egyptian project, it came up on Facebook. Oh. For Alfie's Egyptian project, we made a Taj Mahal out of gingerbread, and that was two years ago today. And that's when we discovered the lime icing. Yeah. No, we discovered the lime icing when I did my pyramid, Cheese board! Which didn't work. Oh, you... No, George, when George made his pyramid out of gingerbread, and which didn't there's work. a theme with our baking. And your cheese. It didn't work, so we ended up just eating it anyway. It was tasted good though. Yeah. And George right, so we're going to need to clear your sides because you're going to need some space to roll out your gingerbread. Um, make sure and don't forget to put the flour on it. You haven't got that far yet, mate. Oh. Don't, don't put flour on it yet. Okay, so uh, you should have your mixture out of your fridge, so it's in a sandwich bag. If you didn't have a sandwich bag, you could have used cling film or you could just stock it in the bowl. Um, and or in just the throw it in the fridge. Just, well, you would put it in something. Mm. Um, so I'm just wiping down my sides. So when I roll out my gingerbread, it, it's nice and clean and there's, there's no nasties on there. I know, Mum, when you put it in the fridge, you're putting it in the fridge, so. So we're just wiping down our sides. And then drying um, it too. Don't use that one. Don't use that one. Don't use the one that you use... your hands with. Just going to use a bit of kitchen roll. So then the flour won't stick to the... No, because what happens when the flour gets mixed with water? It turns flour to water. It goes sticky, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you can actually make glue. If you run out of PVA glue to stick stuff in the books or just a bit of paper craft, mm -hmm. you literally just put some flour with some water and makes like a paste. Um, doesn't dry clear like PVA glue, but it does stick stuff to stuff. Growing up, this is why you don't need to give your children lessons when yeah. we're here. Always tips. Full of tips, Alfie. Full of tips. Another tip, if you use a damp tea towel, Alfie, and then you put your bowl on top, stops your bowl from doing what? Sticking. Stops Moving. Sliding around. So if you're making a cake with the little ones, 
and you find that the bowl was moving everywhere, put a damp cloth underneath, give it a good stir, and um, you find the, the bowl won't move. We're big brain, not on cooking though. Mm. Okay, Alfie, so we're going to put some May flour I? on I, the I surface. am a pro at this. I watched um, another Junior Bake Off, so. Okay, Charlie Gilmore said, we were too late getting home. Oh, never mind, Charlie. You, we should be able to watch it at a later date and then you can... Yeah. She said, I'll see if, we, if, if Marley can rewatch it after. And blimey, you look like your mother, Jo. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Let's <laughs> hope she's not watching. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, now to bring our gingerbread out. Oh, okay. oh, oh. Right, so oh. our gingerbread. So, it depends on how um, it looks brown. good you want to be. You can try and get it out and you can try and save your bag. We don't. We take some scissors. Can and I? We, yeah, of course. And, and we, we chop, chop it up the bag, up the middle. I'm probably off centre. Sorry, George. It's okay. <laughs> and you'll find that actually your gingerbread is pretty much George. Let's ready out, please. I would love Sonia. to. I would have loved to, but they oh, don't. Dear. Right. So we're just going to cut oh, open. No, no. It's all right. No, it's because Stanley did a pee. I know. Stanley's done a pee by our back door, which is brilliant timing. But yeah. I'll clean that once the biscuits are in the oven. Yeah, and I'll read the story whilst you're doing that. So we have cut open our gingerbread like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to just flip it upside down onto our floured surface. And yeah. um, Children, we... don't try this at home, even though you're doing it already. <laughs> like that. And then we're going to peel back our... Carry a um, You don't need to roll out anymore, do you? Um, I mean, you can. No. So you don't have to roll it out anymore if you don't want to. We're um, not going to. But other people might find that um, yours uh, haven't done yours as thin or you want to roll it out because it's fun. Um, I always find with gingerbread, gingerbread is quite sticky. So um, when you're cutting your shapes and things like that, if you're trying to roll it too much, it might stick to your rolling pan. Rolling pan? Rolling pin. So if you're going to use a rolling pin, Make sure that you get some flour and you dots. put your flour on your rolling pin. We are spelling okay? and punctuation dots. And then dots. just give it a good rub so that your flour is coated your rolling pin. And you can also sprinkle a little bit onto your gingerbread. And then when you roll it, we won't do it too much because we want us to Oh, and by the way, everyone, today we're doing biology because we're finding out what this means. That's not, that's not biology, baby. That's a treble clef, which is music. You're a treble clef. Brilliant. Classics, boys, classics. Um, and when you're coming. rolling out your mixture, so some people might want to roll it out. We've already kind of done ours, haven't we? Um, yeah. So we'll just wait. You want it to be about the thickness of a one pound coin. Um, you can no, go no, a little bit thicker if you want. We did learn that from Bake Off, didn't we? Should I go get a one pound coin? No. Because uh -huh. we've done our gingerbread before. You don't have one pound coin. Um, I do. Just make sure that your gingerbread well, is not sticking do. to your um, surface. It is quite gentle, it is quite, um, it's quite breakable. Right. Stanley's disappeared. Under, oh, there is. under the chair. Okay. Um, we tend to use a fish slice or a spatula to get our things from our mixture and onto our baking tray. Because as I said, they do tend to break a little bit. And what you don't want to do is um, end up with lots of broken bits of cookie. And we have pretty, and we have pretty good cutters because they have a nice, beautiful shape on the front. Right, so and what shape are we gonna do? What shape's everybody got? What have people got at home? Have you got gingerbread men? Have you got stars? Have you got circles? Who cares, do you whatever you want. want. Do whatever you want to. Right, so I'm gonna do a star. I'm gonna do, a treble clef. So remember when you're cutting your cookie dough we want to play with it as little as possible so, so um, oh, wait, you want no. to try and make yeah you don't yeah. Oh, so that's the pastry, so the that that's pastry isn't it mm. so you don't want to keep rolling it out because it is just a bit fragile so you want to try yeah. and get your cookie shapes as close together as possible so that you don't have to keep rolling it out and you can make treble clefs. Lou Lucian yeah. is loving the bants Lucian's loving the band, so that's good. Good. Here is a treble clef I prepared earlier. Right, who likes music? Who would like that one? Uh, oh, no. a me, 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 me. Me. Okay, you want to talk? Me, me. No, 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 no. You want to talk? I no. like music. No. I've made music. No. I like music. No, no one. No one likes it. What about Kate? Kate would like that one. Yeah, Kate. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, um, 
Grown-ups, you can help if you want. Just lay your gingerbread out onto the baking tray. Oh, um, as I said, we're using not a too close. spatula. Not too close together. That's okay. Oh, yes, sorry. these biscuits will rise slightly. They will spread in the oven. So um, We've learned that the hard way, haven't we? <laughs> We have made things before, cut out beautiful shapes and then they will merge together. Yeah. But it's okay because you can just cut them out again when you finish. Um, Try and make, I'm gonna, nice I'm gonna say a challenge. Who can make a perfect circle? Without a cutter. Oh no. Um, if you don't have cutters, that's fine. It doesn't matter. You can use other things. So look around the house, you could use a knife, a mug, and you could cut it out with a mug. Look. So you don't have to have cutters to be able to make, um, Cookie, cut, cook, you know, cookie cutters to make them. So I've just used a mug and I've got a lovely circle. I mean, to be fair, Can I just say, perfect circle. I mean, well. to be fair, the biscuit dough is being a bit mugged off. Hey, I love it. Oh, right, carry on, they help me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're making stars, we're making mugs. Oh, wow. um, the, the, the way your tone shifted from stars to mugs. mugs. <laughs> Um, oh dear. Gingerbread's a great thing for making sculptures and stuff. You probably start a lot. This one's, a, this one's an old one. Is it? I have got some, wrinkles. I have some. It's like a massive one. You want to make a massive one, do you? <gasps> Just bear in mind if you do them all different shapes and sizes, that the smaller ones are going to cook a lot quicker than the bigger ones. And that you, what you don't want to do is it to burn. That will be softer than the smaller ones, won't I think? Oh. So what shapes are anyone making at home? Is anyone Mom, I think we need to do chat? again. Yeah, we might need a new baking tray for that one. So we've got some stars. Right, that bit has got... Release the Kraken! Oh, Can't use that big if you drop on the floor, darling. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah. Right, and then you'll be left with um, lots and lots of bits of gingerbread. Which will roll out again. Which we will roll out again. I'll just so, get this bit. Flour. Wow. Well, then now, if you're going to roll it out. Okay. So my tip would be, do it with your hands first, and then finish it off with a rolling pin. Alfie, just show them your apron a minute. This is why we wear aprons, everyone. This is the whole reason. Look at the set of it. Honestly. Not too thin in the middle, mate. Now people know that I can jump. Great. Don't go too thin, or else it will cook quicker than the others. And it will burn, won't it? Yeah, it won't move. It won't. Oh, for goodness sake. That's because you've put them on top of each other. So if you're going to put them on top of each other, you've already got to give them a squish so that they stick around together. Again, down. combine them again into a ball. Okay? And then carry on, pull it out. George, you're just writing up the recipe. I mean, yeah. So if the people missed it, or the sound quality wasn't good enough for them, <coughs> or they just mute us because Alfie's too loud. Right! <laughs> and that's the reason why. Yeah. You yeah. can put it in the chat. That's or it will, I will, it, but I can, uh. Good. Okay. Now let's cut some treble clair. Not so quavers. I wouldn't even do, though I would I like think they're going to burn if you use this. I think they're too small. Oh, then what will we do with this? We'll try one. We'll do it as a challenge. We'll see. Well, I think I need another tray. I think we've run out of them. Oh, really? I've been dancing in my room. This is not a pizza, you cannot do this. So we've run out of space on our baking tray. This has got mine down. Um, so we're just going to use another one. But what I've done is this baking tray is hot, and so I'm just going to put some cold water in it just to cool it down so that we don't start to melt the cookies before we put them on, preserved it in the oven. I'm going to quickly grab a drink. And some water on the side of this. How's everybody doing with their cookies? Is everyone cutting their shapes out? Everyone finished the baking tray? Well, I think I'm being the most active person in the chat today. Um, That's I'm good that he's watching it. Because people are busy, darling. Making oh, a biscuit, that is good. Eight people are still watching this. Well, show. that's good. Massive. Hello, eight, eight people, whoever you are. The X-Men massive. <laughs> there's, probably, there's probably going to be seven. So. Well, Nikki said she was on, so if Nikki's there, hi Nikki. Nikki. I don't know who's cooking, whether it be Oliver or Jacob or both. So hello if you're there. I think the Strodes we're going to watch. Lily, uh, Rosie, uh, Nanny Annie, Abby Wallace, yeah. Patty, I don't, I don't know who that is. Uh, <laughs> Patty. 
Yeah. Patty's Remember, darling. Oh. Oh. I that was Phil's. Uh, and then Nanny. Phil. Then Phil's uh, doesn't have her own business. Nanny Annie's account. watching as well, so. Hello, Nanny Annie. And then there's like, four other people, but they haven't posted in the chat yet. No worries. What are you making out? You should. Making something. You're making a worm. So make sure um, with your biscuits that they're not too close together because as we said, they will rise slightly. Um, mine's quite a dark mixture. So now that it's been out of the fridge, it's, it's quite cold, so it is becoming quite malleable, which is good. What are you making now? It's a pyramid. Yeah, it's going to cook very well, baby. Um, you can try it. Put it in the oven. Yeah, I need to make it though. What shall I make? Something you can make whatever you want. What do you want me to make? Make something. There you go, I've made a splat. Wow. <laughs> Good one. Um I'm gonna make a beautiful bowl. Splat. Okay, people. We're free right we're free going now, mate. This is a... Uh... Oh, I've made a little oh reminds me of a little tartlet case. Or you could just make a bowl and put the icing in the bowl. Yeah. And then put a straw in the bowl. And so then, then George can drink out the then bowl. Then get high on the no, icing. This is my one. I've made little sides to mine. Might not work. But we've got enough cookies there. I mean, Brandon have placed an order, Alfie. Oh, how much did they pay? No, they, they bought us ginger. No. no. Oh. They I woke up this morning and realised they didn't have any ginger, which is kind of necessary for ginger biscuits. They didn't order it. They just said, I'm coming over for my thing. You better be ready. No, they said they're going to drive past on their bikes and pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't say, is it okay if we do this? They just said, I'm coming, better be ready. Yeah, but that's Nanny. Nanny can have what she likes, can't she? she what? Because Nanny she... makes the supplies and stuff. Are we nearly finished? Yeah, I'm just making it. Finished. I don't even know what Alfie's making to be. He's making a snail? A slippery slime. Looks like a snail. Rude. It's not a, it's not a snail. It's not a snail. What is it? Oh, oh. Wait a second, I'm just going to thin out the edges. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ow. Oh, I know what it is. Pointy snail? It's no, a, no, pointy, it's, not it's a pointy snail. snail though. It's a hat. Well, don't put it on your head. Oh, right, that's yours. You're eating oh. yeah. <laughs> oh. Do we you? think it looks like a hat? Yeah. It does, Alfie. <laughs> it's like the... Um, the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Um, if you want to wait a second. There you go. It's the sorting hat from Harry Potter. It's no longer no longer a poo. I mean, um, <laughs> what's your hands, please? Right. So we have got our biscuits. Now you have to bear in mind that something like that will take a lot longer to cook than something like this. So um, right we'll on. cook our biscuits as we would do normally, and then we might have to leave our sorting hat um, in for a little bit longer. I think they're probably going to take, they take between sort of 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how thick your biscuits are. Um, we're going to put ours in for 10 minutes because we've done ours quite thin, um, and then I'll probably leave those ones in for a couple more minutes each. Um, when they come out of the oven, they are still going to be a little bit soft to touch on the top. You'll find that they're starting to harden around the outside, and then that way you'll get a nice um, cookie consistency. Um, you can do them on a lower temperature for longer if you wanted to, but this is just the way that we like to eat them, isn't it, Alfie? Yeah. Nice bit of entertainment dancing. Okay, I'm on the floor, it. floor. <laughs> I love to dance. She gave me more, more. Um, I can't stand. Grown-ups, you can do this bit. <laughs> the rest of it. You put your oven gloves on. Um, when you're going in the oven, it'd be good if the grown ups did this, unless you're in the oven. Okay, yeah. By the way, older kid means probably like eight pots. It doesn't matter. These set a will ten be. minute timer. Yeah, this. She's talking to her wrist. <laughs> so we set a ten minute timer. Our ginger biscuits are in the oven. Hopefully, everyone else's ginger biscuits are in the oven. We've got our lime icing ready to go here. What we'll do is I'm just gonna get down to the side. I'm gonna just clean up the um, bits and pieces, and, I'll give you some and then we can um, wait for those ones to cook. And then I'll give you some standing. Grown ups can make themselves a cup of tea. If you wanna on. log off and come on in ten minutes, you can. If your kids, you wanna grab a chair. I've got a book that I'm gonna happy to start reading. 
for 10 minutes whilst we're waiting for those ginger biscuits to cook and the grown-ups come in and start a cup of tea, which might work, maybe, I don't know. Um, I'll Alfie, a cup of tea. Um, I'd like you just to sit because otherwise when the kettle's boiling, you're not going to hear the book. But now I want a cup of tea. You can have a cup of tea in a minute. Yeah. Right, so we are going to start to read Roald Dahl, George's Marvellous Medicine. Um, if you want to listen, then listen up. If you don't, put some music on and ignore me, then that's fine. Yeah. Uh, we're going to read for 10 minutes or just under 10 minutes start this book if we carry on next week then we will um, obviously just continue to read the book Help. I'm not going to get through this in 10 Help. minutes me okay, I'd like you to stop now and go sit down please okay. are you sitting comfortable? well let's begin otherwise it's 10 minutes of silence or 10 minutes of these Muppets so I figured we'd rather have a story okay are we ready? so this book is by Roald Dahl and it's George's Marvelous Medicine and it's one of our favourites isn't it boys? yeah I'm going shopping in the village, George's mother said to George on Saturday morning, to be a good boy and don't get up to any mischief. This was a silly thing to say to a small boy at any time. It immediately made him wonder what sort of mischief he might get up to. And don't forget to give Grandma her medicine at 11 o'clock, the mother had said. And then she went out, closing the back door behind her. Grandma, who was dozing in her chair by the window, opened one wicked little eye and said, Now you heard what your mother said, George. Don't forget my medicine. No, Grandma, George said. And just try to behave yourself for once while she's away. Yes, Grandma, George said. George was bored to tears. He didn't have a brother or a sister. His father was a farmer, and the farm where they lived was miles away from anywhere, so there were never mile many children to play with. He was tired of staring at pigs and hens and cows and sheep, and he was especially tired of having to live in the same house as that grisly old grunion of a Grandma. Looking after her all by himself was hardly the most exciting way to spend a Saturday afternoon. You make me a nice cup of tea for a start, Grandma said to George. That'll keep you out of mischief for a few minutes. Oh, yes, Grandma, George said. George couldn't help disliking Grandma. She was a selfish, grumpy old woman. She had pale brown teeth and a small puckered up mouth like a dog's bottom. How much sugar in your tea today, Grandma? George asked her. One spoon, she said, and no milk. Most grandmas are lovely, kind, helpful old ladies, but not this one. She spent all day and every day sitting in her chair by the window, and she was always complaining, grousing, grouching, grumbling, griping about something or another. Never once, even on her best days, had she smiled at George and said, Well, how are you this morning, George? Or, Why don't you and I have a nice game of snakes and ladders? Or, How was school today? She didn't seem to care about other people, only about herself. She was a miserable old grouch. George went into the kitchen and made her grandma a cup of tea with a tea bag. He put one spoon of sugar in it and no milk. He stirred the sugar well and carried it up into the living room. Grandma sipped the tea. It's not sweet enough, she said. Pour more sugar in. George took the cup back to the kitchen and added another spoonful of sugar. He stirred it again and carried it carefully to grandma. Where's the saucer, she said. I won't have a cup of tea without a saucer. George fetched her a saucer. And what about a teaspoon, if you please? I've stirred it for you, Grandma. I stirred it well. I'll stir my own tea, thank you very much, she said. Fetch me a teaspoon. George fetched her a teaspoon. And when George's mother and father were home, Grandma never ordered George about like this. It was only when she had him all to himself and began treating him badly. You know what the matter's with you, the old woman said, staring at George over the rim of her teacup with those bright, wicked little eyes. You're growing too fast. Boys who grow too fast become stupid and lazy. But I can't help it if I'm growing fast, Grandma, George said. Of course you can, she snapped. Growing is a nasty childish habit. But we have to grow, Grandma. If we didn't grow, we'd never be grown-ups. Rubbish, boy, rubbish, she said. Look at me. Am I growing? Certainly not. But you did once, Grandma. Only very little, the only woman asked. I gave up growing when I was extremely small, along with all the other nasty childish habits like laziness and disobedience and greed and sloppiness and untidiness and stupidity. You haven't given up any of those things, have you? I'm still only a little boy, Grandma. You're eight years old, she snorted. That's old enough to know better. If you don't stop growing soon, it'll be too late. Too late for what, Grandma? It's ridiculous, she went on. You're nearly as tall as me already. George took a good look at Grandma. She certainly was a very tiny person. 
Her legs were so short, she had to have a footstool to put her feet on, and her head only came halfway up the back of the armchair. Dad says it's fine for me to be a tall man, George said. Don't listen to your daddy, Grandma said. Listen to me. But how do I stop myself growing, George asked her. Eat less chocolate, Grandma said. Does chocolate make you grow? It makes you grow the wrong way, boy, she snapped. Up instead of down. Grandma sipped her tea, but never took her eyes from the little boy who stood before her. Never grow up, she said, always down. Yes, Grandma, and stop eating chocolate. Eat cabbage instead. Cabbage? Oh no, I don't like cabbage, George said. It's not what you like or what you don't like, Grandma snapped. It's what's good for you that counts. From now on, you must eat cabbage three times a day, mountains of cabbage. And if it's got caterpillars in it, so much the better. Ugh, George said. Caterpillars give you brains, the old woman said. Mummy washes them down the sink, George said. Mummy's as stupid as you are, Grandma said. Cabbage doesn't taste of anything without a few boiled caterpillars in it. Slugs too. Not slugs, George cried out. I couldn't eat slugs. Whenever I see a live slug on a piece of lettuce, Grandma says, I gobble it up. Quick before it crawls away. Mmm, delicious. She squeezed her lips together tight so that her mouth became a tiny wrinkled hole. Delicious, she said again. Worms and slugs and beetly bugs. You don't know what's good for you, boy. <laughs> You're joking, Grandma. I never joke, she said. Beetles are perhaps the best of all. They go crunch. Grandma, that's beastly. The old hag grinned, showing those pale brown teeth. Sometimes, if you're lucky, she said, you get a beetle inside the stem of a stick of celery. That's what I like. Oh, Grandma, how could you? You find all sorts of nice things in sticks of raw celery, the old woman went on. Sometimes it's earwigs. Oh, I don't want to hear about it, said George. A big fat earwig is very tasty, Grandma said, licking her lips. But you've got to be very quick. When you put one of those in your mouth, it has a pair of sharp nippers on its back legs and ooh, on your back end. And if it grabs your tongue with those, you'll never stop. So you've got to bite those earwigs fast, chop, chop, before it bites you. George started edging towards the door. He wanted to get as far away as possible from his filthy old woman. You're trying to get away from me, aren't you? She said, pointing a finger straight at George. You're trying to get away from Grandma. Little George stood by the door, staring at the old hag in the chair. She stared back at him. Could it be, George wondered, that she was a witch? He'd always been thought witches were only in fairy tales, but now he was not so sure. Come close, certainly, little boy, she said, beckoning him with a horny finger. Come close, certainly, and I will tell you secrets. George didn't move. Grandma didn't move either. I know many secrets, she said. She smiled suddenly. It was a thin, icy smile, the kind a snake might make just before it bites you. Come over here to Grandma and I'll whisper secrets to you. George took a step backwards, edging close to the door. You must be frightened of your old Grandma, she said, smiling that icy smile. George took another step backwards. Some of us, she said. And all at once, she was leaning forward in her chair and whispering a throaty sort of voice George had never heard before. Some of us, she said, have magic powers that can twist the creatures of the earth into wondrous shapes. A tiny tingle of electricity flashed down the length of George's spine. He began to feel frightened. Some of us, the old one went on, have fire on our tongues and sparks in our bellies and wizardry in the tip of our fingers. Some of us know secrets that would make your hair stand straight up on end and your eyes pop out of their sockets. George wanted to run away, but his feet seemed stuck to the floor. We know how to make your nails drop off and your teeth grow out of your fingers instead. George began to tremble. It was her face that frightened him most. The frosty smile, the brilliantly unblinking eyes. We know to have to, how to wake you up in the morning with a long tail coming out from behind you. He cried out, stop! We know secrets, my dear, about dark places where dark things live and squirm and slither all over each other. George made a dive for the door. Doesn't matter how far you run, he heard her saying, you'll never get away. George ran into the kitchen, slamming the door behind him. <gasps> well, that's not very nice, is it? That is ten minutes, so we're going to check our biscuits. So, 
I wouldn't like a grandma like that. Would you like a grandma like that, Alfie? No, probably not. No, I don't think so. Right, come back for my break. I know all of you guys. They smell me. amazing, Alfie. I mean, they should. So we're going to have a little look. Oh, they're very flowery. That's all right. So. The flowery, the better. Mine are quite hard around the edge. I can pick them up. If they're not for you. They look good to me. So don't touch them, Alfie, because you've got pop. So then we need to take them out of the oven and we're going to put them onto, um, just put our baking tray onto a chopping board. I have a little bit. No, you can do it whilst I say another joke. Okay, so I'm just saying. So they look like that, nice and golden. And then we've got another one here. Oh, my tray, my little size didn't work. Look. Oh, really? Um, well, look at my, poo, I mean, um, thumbs crown. Like what it. I'm going to do is put them all onto one baking tray now. Wow. And so, so, and we need to wait for them to cool down before we put the icing on because? What's going to happen now? The icing will melt. It will melt, you're right. So we're going to just, because we've got two baking trays, I'm just going to put them all and then put that in for another minute or so. Why, why, okay, let's be wait, let's have a joke. Come on then. Why, mum ready? Why mm -hmm. can't cows lay eggs? I don't know why can't cows lay eggs. Because it's not genetically possible. <laughs> this, is what I, this is what I live with. <laughs> Lockdown 2021! <laughs> um, okay, so what you can do, if you've got a cooling rack, you can use a cooling rack to cool your biscuits down. If you haven't got a cooling rack, it doesn't matter. If you, you can have just... got a cooling rack, you can slam it down on the ground like we've just done. Well, you can. What you can do is, if you leave your biscuits on your baking tray, then your biscuits won't cool down very quickly. So take them hot on so I'm going to wipe the side down. Do you want to know why? It's because um, the biscuits will stay on a hot surface. They're going to sit exactly. So they'll stay on a hot surface and they won't cool down very quickly. Which and then we won't bad. be able to ice them, which is bad, Alfie, you're right. So what we're going to do... Want, who would want a plain ginger biscuit? Yeah. No one wants a plain ginger biscuit. Unless you're... Unless clean. Um, so I'm we're going to just clean? No. move the side. We're going to wipe the side down because we're covered with flowers. And I will entertain you with cooling rack dancing. Next Olympic sport. Cooling. Gingerbread cooling. Gingerbread cooling. Um, so yes, yeah, so take them off of your baking tray because then they will cool down very quickly. They will be hot, so you don't use your fingers. You use, you use your toes. You could use a slice. Like this one. Sweat. Can I do it? Yeah. Yay. Don't touch the tray because the tray's hot. Yeah, so we're going to gently take them off the tray and put them on our cooling rack. Again, take them off, put them on a chopping board. Come on, the treble clef works. the shells from your oven. I've used that before. The treble clef works. It did work. Well done. Oh, I know who'd love one of those. Kate. Yeah. She <laughs> would actually really like one of those. Actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally a cannon. We have been going for an hour and a quarter. Wow. Good skill. And we've lost two viewers in that time. Oh, they might be off cooking their biscuits. Maybe. Whoever you guys are, come back when you want to for offline, then you can do something. That's, that's not watching me fire biscuits. Okay, Out so we're just going to let those cool down and then we're going to ice them. How long will they cool down for, Mum? A uh, few minutes, I would have said. I would say about three, four. And whilst we're doing that, and whilst we're doing that, George don't, do, can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So, um, Mum will entertain you somehow. I've already done enough entertaining with my yeah, hilarious. Okay. They I've already, Mum, I've already done enough entertaining with my hilarious jokes. Because we're not using butter icing, it doesn't matter if they're still a little bit warm. If you're using butter icing on a cake, you have to make sure they're properly cold. But yeah, because these biscuits aren't so bad. Yeah, good thing we're not making cake. To be fair, biscuits are probably easier to make than cakes. Alright. Takes less to do. Which is good for children. Takes That's less. why the money be cheap cakes. Takes less. It's because to mum make knew more. that I'd be a competitive baker. Yeah. Shame you can't go on any competitive shows. I can go on a singing one, but not on the baker. Oh, we don't cook things on a singing show, are we? Oh really? Yep. Really. You cook. I know what you do. You cook stage presents. Come on. Like like Elton Presley. So has everyone got their <laughs> biscuits off of the baking tray? Wait, I got 
What do you think? Oh, no, no, Nikki says sing us a song. <laughs> okay, okay. Check a trade, check a trade, check a trade, check a trade.com, check a trade, 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 check a trade. You're singing check a trade. Check a trade, check a trade.com. Wow. Sorry, Nikki. Okay, what about. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. If you don't want to, then don't. Um, right, with our icing, we're going to put our icing either in a piping bag, and if you haven't got a piping bag because um, you need, they didn't get delivered quick enough, uh, you can use a sandwich bag like these. The, iron. Two sandwich bags. Um, the tip for putting your icing into a piping bag or sandwich bag is to get a cup or a mug or something like that, pop your sandwich bag or piping bag into your mug and just Pop it over the top. And since your icing has been resting, okay. remember and then to what? mix your icing a little bit because it could go crusty. Absolutely, you want to mix it so that it's not crusty. Crusty icing. But if you put your icing bag or your um, sandwich bag around your mug, then you'll find that um, it's going to be easier to put your icing in. Or the satisfying other people, Come on, it, ASMR. There's our icing. Right. Pop it in our sandwich bag then. Oh, oh, I did miss. You did miss. I'm sorry. George. So we discovered this when George broke his arm when he was doing his piping. Yeah. Um, that's how. In case you're wondering how I got into Bake Off, that is how. Why? No, no, not that tip. It's the fact that I broke my arm. That. Don't be negative all the time, George. So. so what do we do with this icing pile? We're going to put it in a bag. How? So you just want to make sure you get all your icing out. You might need your grown-up to help you with the step. Okay, with my hand now. Pop that into... Did you just taste it, Alfie? Yeah. Is it nice? And then that's... Yeah, it's very nice. Want to try? Um, well... You've got a bit in your fingers, so... This is why you wipe the surfaces down, so when you pour it over the side, you can just stick it straight into the plate. And then lick some with your finger. Mmm. Oh, it tastes amazing. What shot? We're definitely professionals. <laughs> I washed my hands. That's good enough. I'm gonna isn't put it? this. In. Once you put it inside your piping bag, you can then just take your piping bag or sandwich bag off, and then it's in there. If you have got a sandwich bag and you're sealing it up, just make sure you've got a gap at the top to let the air out. Otherwise, you end up with just a big air. And then what you do is you just chop the edge of your sandwich bag off. You can pipe it. Scissors. It doesn't work on the really thin sandwich bags because they just split. If you haven't um, used scissors before, first of all, what are you doing? Okay, so uh, wipe up the icing that your son's just poured all over the counter. Like that. Or daughter, either way. It's a very specific instruction. <laughs> I'm sure I am not the only one with a child who's spilled icing on the side. Or had a mistake in this time. Take those extra two out. Alfie, this is what happened to the... In case anyone's wondered what happened to it, don't touch it, it's hot. Happened to the sorting hat. It's not so much a hat anymore. It's not so much a hat This will be the one that I tried to test if it's good. Sorting poo. I know. Sorting poo. Sorting. Right, so our biscuits are probably cool enough to start icing now. They're still a little bit warm, but that's okay. Right, you sniffed that one. So that... I'm going to try that. It's crunchy but nice. Gingerbread should be. Mm. It's good. Let you guys know. Do you want to make that better? What? Lime icing. Right. <laughs> for your techie dude, for your nerd, please just throw something for your nerd. At least anything. Okay. No, not that. <laughs> and we've lost our page. Oh, really? <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> right. So, Alfie, you going to separate the biscuits? A little yeah. bit of biscuits. So, if you have no. a little piping bag or a sandwich bag and you just want to get a spoon and drizzle it over with a spoon Are onto your biscuits, you can do that. Yeah. 
Just don't go crazy. Uh, we're going to take them off of our cooling racks now. I mean, this one that I made is just perfect. Because it's cool enough. I know. Um, I, know I'm cool. I know I'm cool enough, Mum. Thank you. Down. Okay, cool. Mum, this feels so nice. Do like this. Yeah, proper gloopy that one, isn't it? see. Right, okay. So, we're going to cut the end of the bag off. My our sister's gone. Into a world of its own. There we are. It's got flour on it. Okay. This is pressed up with baking. Right. Um, this is the fun bit, the decorating. Cut a oh, tiny little hole. This is the thing that the parents don't have to do. Now you can it. actually sit down, parents. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, so I put my biscuits onto a chopping board and then it's easier to um, clean up the mess afterwards. And then just um, let your kids pipe. Let your kids decorate the piping bag. The, uh, the piping bag. <laughs> wow. Biscuits. Very pretty. I haven't got a shaky hand. He hasn't got a shaky hand. No, it's good. So is everybody at the icing stage with us? Is there any comments, George? No, no comments. Comment, okay. comment if you're not at the icing stage yet. That's okay. They might be busy if they're not at the icing stage yet. Please, can you fill it up most of it? Can you do a couple? Like, you make some of them really nice, but then can you just fill another one? Yeah. No. Cheers. Can you? Can you? Why, George? Just because you want that to be yours. Yeah. Because you're doing it really nicely, but I like loaded ones. Well, we can always do it nicely and then add more on if we want to at the end. Well. Good boy, Stanley. I've made the cross. They all look those great. For all Catholic people out there. Can I pinch the camera, George? Um. Yeah. I can't see you, I have to, uh, is that close up on it? Yeah, that's a quick close up. Yeah, Alfie is now piping his beautiful decorated biscuits. Obviously the bigger hole you make, the more icing, the easier it will be. Yeah. Alfie. He's having a nice time, George, doesn't matter. You try ice something. Okay. There we go. Little mess oh, I like that one. <laughs> that one's got a pretty good amount of icing on it. Has it? Can I do one? Yeah, sure. Grown ups is quite therapeutic if you can get the piping bag. Unless you do it wrong. Unless you do it wrong, yeah. Then it is very not therapeutic. Mum is the best piper in the world. We don't need your wrap, then. Wow. It's actually really quite um, stressful. Ah! Welcome in. George, I think you'll want Mum's one because it's got a lot of icing. Yes, please. Not now. What you can do is if you're more advanced with your um, icing skills, you make one, um, oh, one, okay. icing, one icing thick and one icing thin, and then you use a thick icing around the edges, then you can use a thin icing to bleed it onto the inside. Thank um, you, Jessie, for coming. There's Jessie going. Uh, Rosie said, ours aren't cool enough yet, we made us a bit thick, we're going to sign off and get some more schoolwork done before getting Jake at four. Thank you so much, George, you are being George. No problem. Bye, Jesse. Bye, Jacob. Bye, Thank you for joining Jacob's us. Jacob's not there, Mum. They're going to get just Jacob from school at four. Hi, Jacob at four. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> well, that would be embarrassing. Ours are looking good. So, George, how many people are on my There better be more film ones than that. <laughs> we can film more, that's fine. Yeah, film more. Um, good thing that George has. I'm going to leave Alfie decorating these. Don't rush it, sweetheart, it's fine. They look Should we sign out? Wait. Should we say goodbye to everybody? Let's just, just finish these first. You want to finish these first. Okay. I don't want to leave you guys yet. They, to be fair, they might have already left. Mum, there's mean? nine people. Okay. Nice. You've got nine people watching? Yep. Yeah. Ah, that's good. Hello, nine people, whoever you are. I hope you've had fun with your biscuits. Ours are ginger and brown and looking yummy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh dear. Oh dear, what's the matter? Dribble. Don't matter. Don't lick it. You see, I'm Got lots dribble. of nice icing, so hopefully yours. Have you died, yours? Ah! You have to send me pictures if you've done your baking. Um, post it on the page. Post it on the page or, po or post it on my Facebook group or just send it to me if that would, if you prefer. Oh, that's an easy way of doing it, I think. <laughs> there are very many. I'd love to see ones. your I'd love to see your pictures. Oh dear. What do I do now? If you've enjoyed yourself and you would like us to do another cook along, then um then let me know in any Spam things. Mum. Spam me, yeah. Uh if you haven't enjoyed yourself, I'm really sorry. Thank you so much, Hattie. Has enjoyed every minute. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh that's good. Right, we're done. Let's yeah. show them our biscuits. Shall I hold them up? Yeah. Pop what should we do with this excess icing, Mum? Pop it in there. Pop it chug, in. chug. Chug, chug, chug. So here's chug. Alfie's biscuits. Mm. Hope everyone Finish enjoyed. His. We hope you've had fun and you've got some nice biscuits to eat and you hope you yeah. enjoyed them. Um, if you fancied it, we might do it again next week and think of something different. Yeah. Um, we might be doing cheesecake. We said possibly cheesecake, didn't we? Have you got suggestions? Uh, no, we, we, we'll do them because they have to work out on time. Maybe um, don't mess with my yeah. suggestions. <laughs> um, I hope you all have fun. Thank you for joining us. And we shall see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Do you want to on my phone, please? Stop my film. Bye.